Recording started now. I'm rather uh, presenting you something or rather telling you something so that it would be much more beneficial for you. One thing is that I have to type your W E R P O I in the PowerPoint. Now let me present my screen and task. Sir, screen is not seen. No, I have not seen it. 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 Do you want to see it? Yes, sir. So, I have not seen it. I have not seen it. Now, let's see website evaluation. Website evaluation. And our case, this is library. Now, you see website evaluation. A broader aspect is library. So I'm making this one like that, website evaluation. Now, broadly, if you say website evaluation is rather a process, a two-part process, or rather you can say that is uh, a process having two distinct parts. What are these parts? So add slide and rather process, process, e -R -O -C -E -S, process. Now what are the processes or processes? Now first one, physical evaluation. First one is the phys physical physical evaluation this one the first one is the physical evaluation and the second one that is the qualitative evaluation now qualitative evaluation and physical evaluation you can say that one broadly we can say a library website what not library website rather any website you can you can you can evaluate that one in two ways one is the physical evaluation and second one is the qualitative evaluation now regarding physical evaluation what we usually consider that is the home page as well as the subsequent page of the, I will show you that one, the subsequent pages of the website. At the same time, the usage of color, the font used in the website, homepage, and different types of links, navigation, animation used. Now you see a lot of sidebars, information, extra information, scrolling information, announcement, so these all are considered as the physical evaluation. Specifically, physical evaluation is rather, you can say, that goes with the aesthetical concept or aesthetical sense of the, um, uh, that aesthetical sense applied in construction of the, you see, the website and at the same time whether uh, information is easily found or not whether it can be retrieved easily or not that is the basic perspective of physical information and qualitative evaluation is the content of that website that is the authenticity of the content clarity of the content as well as the variety of the content and content for the specific target group for whom the website is intended to develop or developed. That is what is known as qualitative evaluation. So whenever you are rather evaluating any website, you must go for these two types of evaluation but in library, 
this qualitative evaluation is rather one very important thing or it actually plays the pivotal role why now see suppose i have my own website you can see that one the physical evaluation all these things and you will get that one you can say that one whether the color you were um, um, thinking that one good or bad what are the different colors uh, web safe colors so these are the different concepts and you can say uh, whether the photographs are fine or not if you download the photograph uh, whether the photograph is rather getting distorted or not whether the pixel is the pixelation is an issue so all these things uh, comes under the purview of physical evaluation but if you see the qualitative evaluation you will see that one my personal side is not having that much of information like one library uh, is having because these are rather the information mostly the stray information collected from some places or rather uh, developed from the mind and some of the files uh, kept there for the usage of the students but whenever we are talking of the library library is rather having a very strong user base and whatever the collection of the library whether that is a bibliographic database like soul or like that or some kind of indicative instruction or rather it is storing the real document in digital form that is a digital repository institutional repository so qualitative information is very important evaluation is very important whether the information kept there in the library is updated or not whether the information kept in the library that is really giving you the uh, this one that is attracting you or not whether the new um, forms of information sources are available like ebooks e journals these are available whether the search mechanism there is very fine you can search the thing uh, according to your search query or rather there is only thing is that you may have to all the times you have to uh, refine your search query to get your uh, document how much precision value is there for retrieving the documents so all such things constitutes the qualitative evaluation okay so this is the quality so two different aspects are there one is physical evaluation and other one is quality now you can say that on now what i can do or what, what is my duty what what you are suggesting that is what is something uh, theoretical but tell me tell us very clearly because we do not have that much of time right now we have to do this one so tell us in very clear terms that is what we will do so in that case now mm. let me let me show you something like this one now see this one is the library evaluation and i already gave you that one this is rather jivesh bansal one um, article but this was published in the year 2014 and the library website evaluation of the iit so you can say that one so iit is a uh, higher institution and in 2004 21 obviously <coughs> some of the techniques changed but the initial things are very same now see the abstract is not important now see these are the aims of library website what should be the aims of library website you can you can keep give something here also so this thing is important in your dissertation or in your write up you have to write some introduction see what you have to write you can take the note of it you may have to you have to write some introduction one thing first is introduction you can um, write that one of your own or rather taking from different places and this introduction will be totally based on the websites library websites and the importance of library websites so everything will go to the introduction portion that is library website and the importance of library websites and like what are the aims of library website what a library website should do i like you see libraries have started to offer a new virtual entrance to their services to the libraries and providing guides so 
here you see this thing now evaluation of website a library website so what are the criteria five criteria evaluating so it is we are taking from this one or this article took that one from the Berkeley library university of california what can the url tell you one is url right that is the address of North Bengal University Library. And then see this one. The first is whether URL is working or not. First one. Second, the scan the perimeter of the page. Authenticity of the content. Links. Whether links are about us, know us is given or not. By which you can reach to the library and whether there is the updatedness or not and then you can say that one whether the value and besides also some of the questions as the author of the page and his expertise on the topic written so it is not rather almost all the time you know, because many a times the information scientists or other fellows or even outsourcing is done look for indicators of quality information links Related links, additional links, copyright information. That is what are the others say. Others say means here comes that one. That is the external help to take that one. What you have seen physically. How you can validate that one with some authenticated sources. That is what you are thinking whether it is true or false. You can take the help of Alexa or rather web analyzer for um, evaluating the library. And does it all add up? After getting all this practical step, you can go for reaching a conclusion and this one. So uh, let me tell you that one. That is first of all. So what you have to do, that is new slide here, so parameters. Parameters first is URL, that is one. Second, check that one the authenticity of the content links about us. This one, second that is about us or contact or inquiry about us or content whether it is available or not then you can say the authenticity of the content NPCIPY of the content of check domain domain extension. Now what is domain extension? Domain extension is, can you tell me what is domain extension? What is domain extension? Domain extension is that one whether if it is coming from ac.in or edu, you can say that one the authenticity of the content more or less is assured because AC means academic institution, EDU is also the educational institution. That is AC, not IN, IN is not required, AC, academic or EDU. Then you have to check whether this is updated or not. Updated means if you see many of the sites, these are given the 
last updated information. So just you check that one at which date it is. It was last updated. Last updated on. Okay, and then you can say that one. That is the additional links add related links so you can say that one related links okay then you can say uh, proper place copyright information copyright and then external validation using software and lastly you can say that one that is the everything that is a kind of summing up of that one that is what the now so got it now let me keep this one like this and then now open it nbu dot sc dot in i'm just giving you one hint now you see open it now first of all check it parameter one url working or not is it working Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. you can, so you can say that one URL is working. Fine. Now see, after the URL, you are getting that one one pop up, and where the notifications are coming. So these are rather you can say that one the recent notifications, updated notification. So you can say that one it is the updated one, or rather the special features or related links. So it's already there. The related links. Okay. Now close it. Now again open this one. Second about us or contact. Check it whether about us is there or not. See about and view. Now about all these things. Click here about and here you see the about is given. Topographic feature vision mission. Here you see this one is very important. Last updated. <coughs> this is what what I already told you. There's the updated. Last updated on which date, right? And here you see the contact us about us is also given. Contact us is also given. Telephone directory complaint reach. Now authenticity of the content check domain extension. See this one that is nbu dot sc dot in. So you can believe that one. This information is already endorsed by the university authority. So this thing can be relied. Okay. So one is okay. Two is okay. Three is more or less. We are sure updation is going on. So updation is there. But last update it is six. Now related links. Check it that one. That is go to the home page again. This is the home page, and here you see these are the affiliated college. These are this one. So these are the related links, and at the same time, you'll see the mother organizations or rather the national organizations like UGC, NAC, West Bengal Higher Education Department, AICT, InfliBnet, Shyam Platform. These are the external links having no relationship directly with NBU, but NBU is all fully related with all these organizations. So, so that's why 
all these uh, links are having their own website but you are getting this one from the in view itself so you can say that what the external links are rather good so related links are there external links are also there external links now copyright and here you see here is the copyright notice copyright north bengal university developed and maintained by cirm nbu so you got that one also the copyright is also there so we are seeing this one uh this one the first one is okay second one is also okay third one is also okay fourth one is okay fifth one okay sixth okay now extension validation we didn't do some and now you see other things i told you that one uh what are the important things that uh the physical verification of this one so let me I show you something that is evaluation criteria now you see this one that is what they are saying now see these are the six criteria authority accuracy objectivity currency coverage appearance that what i am rather trying to say you that is does the site look well organized do the link work does the site appear well maintained now you better say this one from your own views tell me that one that is what is your first impression whenever you see this website any one of you can say what is your first impression because you are the evaluator right now you are not taking any help of any software or any other thing but what you are going to do you are just trying to get the appearance of the software and you are trying to see this one this is the physical verification now here you have this one now tell me what's your first idea or rather you can say uh, perception regarding this one the site anyone so, yes so it is well organized it is well organized. anyone any other fellow yes sir after looking those pictures and after looking at those images it looks like it is well maintained and organized any other one other fellows Shima, Mashi, Mashima. Yes, sir. Ball. Kichu. Ita ki kamon lakche ball. Ato bhalo akka website baniye chhe. Toh ki mane yaar. Bhalo ki khara. Bhalo. Bhalo bhalo. Hai. Bhalo bhalo. Now I am asking you on some fellows who are who can critically evaluate. Onkita Bhattacharya. Onkita. खुजे खुब असुविधा खुजे पे 
সেই সময় থেকে বলতে গেলে মানে একটু প্রবলেম হয়েছে আর এখন তো আমি দেখি না মানে এখন যে আপনি দেখাচ্ছেন এখন দেখছি ঠিক ঠাকই আছে নতুন গুলো আসে যেটা এই সাইড এর মানে অনেক সময় অনেক কিছু না খুঁজে পাওয়া যায় না মানে আমাদের ভর্তির ডেট চলে আসে তারপরে লিঙ্ক টিং দেয় না এই যে এগুলো মানে ঠিকঠাক হওয়া যায় that's different that is the problem of management i am talking about the already existing website okay that is a different issue uh, because those who are developing this one they are not the part of the management they are not directly getting this one they are getting all this information from different branches so now let me tell you something from my point of view okay one thing is that see this heading about nbu this heading it's quite good but the fonts are too small one thing okay although it may look like very good but those who are having the eye issues either they have to magnify this one in such a way or rather so they can't get this one properly one thing second one is these colors do you really think that these are rather web safe colors so are you getting these colors see this one this white lettering on the background this white lettering on the background is giving you some kind of pain on your eyes and at the same time see this one the way this one is getting reflected this this thing an university publication and here the iqsc this white it is rather giving some kind of problem so here the color choice is i think it is some kind of travel something specifically those who are having their problem in their eyesight one thing. okay so another thing is that you know the forthcoming event this one is free blank now quick links are there the library all other things but affiliated college everything is there but here university publication but the library should go at least because in a library service amenities everything but the library is much more better priority than ugc university publications or like that so the library should have a so because these are the importance if you see the categorization of importance from top to down you are getting that one here the images are there notice circular it's okay but at the same time you are getting something then you are getting the chancellor and vice chancellor announcement but at the same time you are getting now you are getting the distance education which is rather always at being on question okay now affiliated colleges so this is one distance link first of all university library then you can go for that one so the university's library is not given there institutional repository is a part of university library but it is given as a separate link what do you think that institutional library is rather institution repository this is a part of the library because library is maintaining that one but here the library is there but institutional repository is given different if you click institutional repository here you see this is institutional repository that is coming on and if you click library 
you will see that one this is the library is coming here the library is coming and now from the library from the library and this is what the plagiarism census data journal list home this is what the library is and then e resources c institutional repository is already given there so if already information repository institutional repository is given there what is the necessity of giving institutional repository here if you give this link here then for all subsequent links you have to make uh, like image type of menus in different places so this is what the conceptual fallacies are there in some cases okay now students john here also the hostels this thing whenever you are arranging this one the hostels are coming for scholarships and fellowships are second then remedial then placement cell either you mention that one in some kind of uh, you see the sequence rather a kind of you can say a concrete sequence and if you cannot do that one go for the alphabetical arrangement and here this is not alphabetical if you have to search the anti ragging cell either you have to press control f to find that one else but if it is rather written as alphabetically here you can say there an alphabetical so you can go for that one obviously a cs cell or like that says my friends okay but hostel is there here all ace is there but sst cell is there placement cell is there so so and now here comes the ugc then nac then west bengal government of higher education now what is the necessity of giving this one first is ugc ugc is part is rather nac then aict the national bodies then higher education department infinitnet is also something now see here comes the concept these are rather ugc nac higher education council aict these four are the accreditation bodies where these two things are rather the repositories and online so how come all these things come to a single line so you can compare you can criticize that one in this way also but this is the nbu side no one is talking telling you about the nbu side but this is what i am telling you this is what the physical analysis of or physical evaluation of a site you can say that one of your own no problem so you can go with the links you can say with the colors you can say with the arrangement of information you can say with the navigational pattern you can go for the screen reader access although as i have given here the screen reader access so you can make the font much more bigger here okay but only one time it is actually coming and it will make this one so these three things are there only three different zooming patterns are there so how leave it so this is what one thing now now if you want to go for now see qualities of a good website so i am rather trying to show you this one that is what this one is important and what you will try to evaluate you will try to evaluate this one with these points these left hand side points library website new books display web opac online reservation and even you can customize this one here this one that's the information of the library and number of e journals so your parameter is this 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 left hand side okay so with this one now you can say that one okay this is rather a big project of 100 marks so we can do this one of our own but this will be just for not two pages then what more we can do now i told you that one this place that is the external validation using software now let me show you that one that is we are not going to do this thing so just now here copy this one this site address copy it and then then uh, here they told us to use alexa on that particular journal so okay we are going to alexa first a l e x a alexa 
dot c o m go to alexa now see alexa and check it alexa and amazon com company it is giving you fine research and convert your audience so and here you see i how can alexa help you i want to discover or rather create this thing and here you see what you will get content research competitive website analysis important thing for you competitive website analysis and then you will get that one that is template free competitive analysis template so you can download one thing for this one only thing is that you have to put your name and all other things okay website analysis and download my template so okay then download job function other industry education company size one download my team download your template open with powerpoint see this one analysis so how you can do this one so this is the what they have stated so let me show you this one the template analysis here you can write the name and then second the benchmark strategies then identifying the competitors so these are the benchmarks on if you analyze you will get the result like this way now you can say that on how i can do this thing so this is just a powerpoint presentation so how really i can do this one so you can do this one uh with the help of this one and here you see this is a pricey tool and we are not telling you to purchase this one because this is 149 dollar per month no not the requirement no such requirement is there to download this one so what you can do you can go for uh, a very 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 easy one wbsip website analysis and website analysis is a practice of testing performance so website analysis check it or that let's see whether it is giving you this one or not see everything this is giving try it free but whenever you will say this one they will simply ask you this one that is the user id so google or like that if you enter your user id and password you will be not in trouble but be sure that one each and every time every day lot of emails will come from this place to go for the premium account or rather the uh, subscribe subscription so don't go for such kind of tool and it is not uh, not 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 advisable also dear goose let me show you so yes at least we got that one. something i do not know whether it will run or not but let's check it see this is https and speed test and get your analysis report for free and click it what is that dareboost.com in and go for test my pages
Ah, now say, this is what the report is, and here you can download the report. Fifty-six percent. Beware, basic requirements are missing. Sixteen issues are there. Sixteen improvement suggestion. Fifty-nine successes. Very good. Very good. Now you see, visitors core visitability failed to comply, and total blocking time cumulative shift. So better you go for that one, the report. But now I'm telling you. So this see here is that one. What the things that can be done? So this is what the qualitative thing. That is things to improve. This one. These are the categories. So these are also your parameters, and reduce page weight. The page weight each and every page is very high, and that's for why it is slowing down its display. So they stated that one, the page weight should be minimized or page should be made light pages. Two resources are unreachable. Link not received. Okay. Two resources. These images are not available. You can write this one, okay? And then this is M. This is for NBU site, okay? Sixteen images are resized on browser site. Another problem. So these are the resources used. The PNG format is not suitable for three of your images. See, this thing you couldn't do of your own. So only for this one you have to take the help of software, and here you see one critical dependency is there. This is what the fonts are not safe. JavaScript is having problem. jQuery they are asking for using jQuery 1.12. It is using 1.8. Response time, header title is not available. And then, so this is what is the total, total report. Now, if you try to download report, it will be in a problem. They will ask you to log in or sign up. Most probably, click it. Say this one. And they are asking you register for free. And if you are venturous enough, and you can go with that one spamming of your site. Then it's okay. You can register and discover our site. So let me show you that one register. So I do not have this one. So I can, I can, I can register for fee. Okay. Let me show you that one. Registered. Now, I am email has been sent to the registered address. Is follow the embedded link to activate the account. Okay, then go to this place and go to this place. Okay, this one. Uh, sync is on Gmail. Add another account. Yes. NBU. Gmail.com. Sign in, then leave it. Next. Gmail. And they forwarded one link. They are boost. Just click it. Yes. Uh, registering click it. okay this is registered this is our dashboard and here you see the report this one this is view it and then you can safely click this one this is what download report now add a table of content full advice all tips download the report Okay, report is ready and get it downloaded. 
output. Now here you see the report. So the performance report and quality report, how many pages? Uh, this is what? 52 pages. So now you see the online tool. Yes, table of content. They have added. And you see the summary and the total report. Accessibility. So the full report is here. So you can do this one with your NVU library also. Only thing is that you have to go for one thing, but it's OK. Uh, and now I'm not showing you anything regarding our library website. I'm not going to show you that thing you have to do of your own. OK, you have to do that thing of your own. Now, second one is, apart from this one, uh, if someone is not interested with it, then you can go for this one, web analyze. And this is what is the site, web analyzer, this one. And if you want to get a pro, so, okay, continue as is because my, I already registered of this site, so I'm getting this one, it's okay. Now, Enter nview.ac.in here and start test. See the page size, it is again, it is coming like that way. So what we already got that one in the previous cases, this particular analyzer is also showing the same thing. That is page size is too big. But here it is show, saying that one, it is standard, this is good. And less than, greater than 3 MB means poor. So now you are getting some of the things. So which are rather given in green, these are good. Now, this one, these are average and red are rather poor. So what you are getting, the performance get, the server response is poor, no, sorry, average. Page size is fine and the report is rather, this is the report, okay. So now open it and you will get the, sorry, this is a video, okay. So they are saying that one, first line of video, so first thing. And here you see the standard. Now, total page request, it is also average. HTTP2, this is what security enabled. And page load time is good. Page redirection, good, zero. IPv6 enabled. This is what a new protocol, you know, IP4 and IP6 protocol, it is good. Render blocks, total image size, this one bad. Dome health is okay, DNS lookup. Now, you see this one, what is the score out of 100? The score of this site is 88, okay? Now, if you come to the lower portion, you will get that one. Now, CSS issue, the internal description, so CSS issue, you will get that one. The total, the all green things, these are rather, yes, good. And description, it is already given the description here. And then you can go for the JS factor second. So these things are good. Server factors, see this is very bad. Resource fetching, this one. Character set, meta tag is not there. But others are fine. 
Waterfall, this is what a kind of waterfall is a measurement of different types of that is cascading style sheet CSS that is the decoration and here you see the responses image issues see these are the bad broken images and these images are good statistics now here you see 18 January score was 53 but now the score is 86 so it's already getting better video is not available technology it is important what are the technologies used server is IIS jQuery is being used fonts are used this one you must include this one in your report domain information who are the registrar Alexa a L E X A Alexa rank creation date domain expression date name server you got that one this information validator so the errors page timing that is connection time and request now I am telling you whenever you are writing your analysis you better first go for this one write write the value of this this one along with the values of here this thing what are the things not all are required performance grades 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 this 12 you must write after that you will write that one css request is not required sorry css issues is not required js factor include js factor include server factor include image issues include statistics include technology and include page timing only these things are required so what are these first of all you write something of your own own analysis and then from the software include these 12 things and then include here the js factor server factor image issues statistics technology page timing this thing so uh, i will i will give you that one that is one uh, write up or rather one parameter of this one that is what you have to include so today i will upload that one in the classroom no problem and you can download the PDF report from here also so that you can or other I can I can upload this PDF report to to you so that you can you can see this report and you can do you can evaluate that one after completion of this one you have to write some comments of you that is according to you what is the strength of this website or what is the disadvantages of this website that is the most important thing so with this one now here you see 18 pages report and this is what the performance 88 page load time request page analysis and see the percentage css this this content and I told you that one JS infection in inspection you write then this matrix this one is not important CSS is not important this JS is important JS matrix image matrix is important page timing is important and then you see our analyzer HR analyzer, HR analyzer technologies this is important and overall history and this is so after this one write something of your own that is conclusion the conclusion is to be written by you and then submit that one once you have been asked to okay so with this one this thing is over now if you have any query that is query rather, you can go for that one sir 
এত কিছু আসছে মনে রাখা মুশকিল মনে রাখতে হবে না বিকজ দিস ভিডিও আই উইল আপলোড ইন ইউটিউব অ্যান্ড ইউ উইল গেট দ্য লিঙ্ক অফ ইট অ্যাট দ্য সেম টাইম দ্য পিডিএফ রিপোর্ট উইল অলসো বি গিভেন টু ইউ সো দ্যাট ইউ ক্যান ম্যাচ দ্য ভিডিও অ্যান্ড ইউ ক্যান ইউ হ্যাভ দ্য পিডিএফ রিপোর্ট অলসো রেজাল্ট then only yes sir uh, online submission sir in the form of pdf we have to give the yes. online submission online submission in the form of pdf so only thing is that whatever you are getting from the analytics part you may have to copy that one in the word and at the same time you have to write some of the introduction all things i already told you so i will give you one structure of it that is how to do with this one and what are the components that you have to include in this thing and after that you better prepare a pdf and upload that one so today i will compile this one that is what are to be uh, there in the um, submission or what that is a um, project and then you will do that one accordingly and by this by the meantime i will upload this one that is the video in the youtube so that you can have uh if you, you have to you have to run this one for one or two times then you will understand that one at the same time if you want you can you can even try uh, by using different other uh, at web addresses also like google.com yahoo.com check it check it and see what are the different things that are coming and then even if you have any question then you can ask me i will give you the answer if you have the problem it's okay আমাদের কাল থেকে খুললো ঠিক আছে তো আমরা কাল যাব ইউনিভার্সিটি তারপর বুঝতে পারবো কি হচ্ছে না হচ্ছে কালকে আমরা কথা বলবো কন্ট্রোলার এবং অন্যদের সাথে পরীক্ষার ব্যাপার কি কবে থেকে হবে কিভাবে হবে তো সেক্ষেত্রে দেখা যাক কি দাঁড়ায় কালকে বিকেলবেলা কিছু একটা আমি জানলে পরে বলতে পারি একটু এক্সটেন্ড করলে ভালো হয় আমাদের মানে একসঙ্গে অনেকগুলো প্রজেক্ট হয়ে গেছে তো মানে একসঙ্গে পনেরো দিনের মধ্যে সবকিছু শেষ করাটা একটু মুশকিল হয়ে যাচ্ছে স্যার একদিন ক্লাস নিলে ভালো হয় ডিজার্টেশন নিয়ে তাহলে কালকে কালকে ওই তুই কি এখনো টিউশনি পড়াতে যা সীমা না না স্যার অনলাইনে করিস নাকি টিউশনি না না এখন বন্ধই আছে বন্ধই আছে তাহলে কালকে সন্ধে 7টা ওকে স্যার কালকে জামাই ষষ্ঠী আছে যাব তোর কি জামা তোর বিয়ে হয়ে গেছে আরে না স্যার তোর জামাই কোথা থেকে আসলো দেখি আরে দিন আজকে আমি ডিসার্টেশনের কোশ্চেন
परशु दिन दोपुर আচ্ছা স্যার মানে তাহলে না মানে শুরু করেছি তাহলে ওটা আরেকটু করতে পারতাম মানে এই দুই দিনে তাই জিজ্ঞেস করলাম আচ্ছা তুই কি করতে চাস বল স্যার ওই যে আমার টপিকে সার্ভকোয়াল প্লাস ছিল আর লিপকোয়াল প্লাস কিন্তু না সার্ভকোয়াল প্লাসটা 